Welcome to our demonstration on VMware Data Services Manager. In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at a couple of things, uh, predominantly the deployment of the provider appliance, the deployment of the agent appliance, and then we will see how to create our own database. So without further ado, let's flip over to the demonstration and let's log in as our provider administrator, who is basically the overall administrator for data uh, management services. So the landing page shows us a number of things. Uh, there's already a Postgres SQL deployed, and we have also created a tenant organization you can see here. So the tenant organization is called Rainpole Devs. Now the org administrator for that tenant is Frank. So he's able to create lots of databases and so on that we'll see later. We've also onboarded an environment. Uh, this simply means that the agent has been installed on this vSphere infrastructure, and we can see the various vSphere resources that are available. The agent also sends back a bunch of different information like health and so on. And, uh, metrics, by the way. So you can also check various host metrics and database metrics um, via the agent that is installed on that vSphere infrastructure. Some other things we can see as well is uh, information around the storage usage, we'll see here, as well as agent VM metrics. So actually monitoring the agent VM itself. So now that the environment is available, we can create a namespace. You can see it's already created there as well. And this just allows us to select some of the vSphere resources from the environment that we will use to build the database. And as I said, we already have a PostgreSQL database deployed. You can see the health of all of that uh, database coming back as well. And you can see various operations that have taken place, such as the creation of the database and the backing up of the database. And there's only one backup at present. We've only just created that particular database, so it's a full backup. Backups after that event will be uh, incremental. And HA status is uh, unconfigured, so it's just a standalone database. It's not a, a clustered database. That brings us to the database templates, and only database templates that have been published will be available for creating additional databases. And the, the provider administrator has full control over what databases are published as well. So we're going to switch context. I've logged out now as the provider admin, and I'm going to log in as the org uh, admin, which is user Frank. And there's a slightly different view. So certain things are not available to an org admin that you would have available to a provider admin. But the objective here now is to go ahead and create a database. We already mentioned that there's a Postgres SQL database created. So we can see that there. Um, it all looks good. And what we're going to do now is we're going to flip back and create a different database, this time a MySQL. And we've only published a single MySQL database, so that means all of the information is readily populated. We're going to create a VM to run this database, and we can select a VM resource plan as shown there. And now we get into some of the options that are available around database management and database configuration. Um, in particular, things like backup configuration, maintenance configuration, and of course, advanced DB options uh, as shown here as well. So these can be tuned as you wish. We're now ready to go and create the database. And we can see it entering an init state to begin with. And the great thing about the data management service is that we can view all of the different tasks that are taking place to build out this particular database. So in particular, where you can see the downloading of the template, but if I speed things along, we can actually see the virtual machine being deployed. This is the virtual machine where the database will run. Again, I can speed things along and very quickly finish the VM deployment. And now we can see that we're waiting for the virtual machine to come online and so that we can retrieve its IP address. And once we retrieve its IP address, we can start doing some pre-configuration and configuration steps to actually set up the database. And you can see all that starting there as well. So eventually the database should come online. And once it's online, we will initiate a, a backup of that database straight away. And you can see the backup has been successful as well. And we will send that backup both to local S3 object store as well as cloud-based S3 object store. And once again, it's a full database backup, but all subsequent backups will be incremental. So that completes the demonstration. I hope you found it useful and uh, thank you for watching.